Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. If you haven't been to my channel before, I know who Disturbed is. I used to be a huge Disturbed, Disturbed fan, um, but I haven't heard any of their music. I haven't bought any of their albums since 2010, not because I stopped liking them. I just isn't got sidetracked with other music, um, but Believe is my favorite album from them, hands down. It's a masterpiece in my opinion. Um, I have, it's been a long time since I had done a reaction to Disturb. The last reaction I did was to a cover song. I can't even remember now what it was, but that one I had problems with getting blocked, so I've made this see-through and flipped it around. But I'm excited to hear something new from Disturbed. Uh, so without further ado, here we go. Was that pods? Some people in there? Yeah. Cool. Oh, I need to turn that way up. I, don't, I wanted to pause before he went into a verse. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Love the guitar melody. And then there's some kind of like thing that reminds me of like an echo. Woo, 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 woo. It's kind of subtle in the background. I like the way that that sounds with the, the kind of the grittiness of the music. I wasn't expecting the change up right there. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that transition there. One of my favorite things about Disturbed is how dark and kind of sinister their music sounds. I love it. Just it's somehow so satisfying. And David has like the perfect voice for this music, for, for lots of music, but especially this music. Love his voice. Um, I heard almost all of those words. I got a couple of chuckles because Sometimes there are things that exist or even within us that we don't really think about or realize. And so when someone points it out within us and with other people, and when someone points it out, sometimes it's kind of humorous, like, mm -hmm. and it's pretty true, you know. Uh, anyway. That dude is scary looking. Get mad at me. Don't get mad at me for buzzing again. I just have a question. So they all have those things hold a phone, right? So you can kind of do virtual reality. I think that I bought my husband something like that like five years ago. He used it twice. But I think that's what that is. And so if you put something, a video on to watch, a person would be more submersed in the video. So it's to me like those people are being 
don't know if there's a singular word that would apply there, but I don't think brainwashed is right. I think brainwashed might be a little bit strong, but those people are being forced to consume certain content likely in order to make them think certain things, feel certain ways, have certain core beliefs. Am I close? Let me know in the comments. Helping no one. Uh oh. So they're getting angry. They're gonna fight each other. Are they both being fed opposite perspectives? Left versus right? Maybe? Ooh, I like whatever this is. I was gonna pause, but now I don't want to. I love this. pause because I didn't pause before the breakdown I don't want to get in trouble I didn't see anything about the license on this music video but like I said last thing from disturbed I watched it got blocked um so I'll know once I post this if there's a license company like if it's UMG or whatever um so now I think after watching this let me know if I'm wrong that possibly those people were being fed content and information which is going to have certain bias because someone uh, compiled that information. So what they put in there would have been put in there and what was left out would have been left out with intent because humans have bias. So perhaps one person was being fed information and perspectives whatever they were being convinced convinced isn't the right word basically left versus right two different perspectives because then they were fighting each other with the vr things on then the vr things were off and they were still fighting each other two people that probably were fine with each other but because they consumed information content and ideas news that were in extreme contrast to one another maybe not even extreme they now are fighting against each other i feel like that's what it is kind of you know some people can Consume this side, some people consume this side, and often the side stuff you hear ends up being the most extreme opinions, you know? There's not really a lot of range on each of those sides, not as much as there used to be. Now it's all the way over here, or all the way over here, and so you end up with this clash, just totally unnecessary, whatever. <laughs> I like the way they went back into that. Are they friends again? We can't be friends. Awesome. Rise up. They unplugged the soldier. That dude. <laughs> guy 
was like a puppeteer. Manipulating everyone. We turned off. Is everybody going to be free now? Everyone's free. Sweet. I might have went way off on that, and I'm really, really sorry. Hopefully I didn't make anyone uh, super mad. I probably paused more than I needed to. And I might have read too far into it, but I started following David Draymond, the lead singer, on social media. I really like seeing his thoughts his ideas and things that he shares and he seems pretty centered i might be completely off uh because i haven't seen everything that he's posted and i'm not sure about the rest of the band but to me that video the visuals kind of painted the picture of a person dude with the weird eyes being uh manipulating for example, his soldiers, they had hats on with these wires going into it so that he could control what they were doing somehow. And those soldiers were not only protecting him, but carrying out his orders, which part of those orders were to get two people from the pods who could very well be neighbors, allies, and friends but to put them in VR goggles to have them develop a certain perspective, a certain approach, a certain ideology, maybe, or just feelings, and pit them against one another because they've both been fed contrasting content and so they end up going against each other, which is unproductive. It's just, um, what was it? I think it was Abraham Lincoln that said something, a country that is divided cannot stand, a house divided cannot stand. I'm probably getting that way off, but something like that. Whereas those people, rather than allowing biased content to them against it one another if they learn to just recognize their the humanity they have in common and find the things they have in common because that's very likely they have more in common than not maybe and they they teamed up and worked together not only could they free others from that trap but they could also then overthrow the person that is behind it all. Let me know if I'm close. I feel like I'm close. I feel like I'm spot on, but I might be wrong. I don't know. But if that is the message of the visuals, I, f I feel like it's very relevant for today. You get online, let's say Twitter, for example, a lot of the things that circulate I mean, there's some just fun stuff on there too, but a lot of things end up being the extremes. So an opinion from the left that gets a lot of support and a lot of activity is often an extreme opinion to people in the middle and people on the right and vice versa. A lot of times the opinion from someone who is vocally on the right and not always, I'm not making generalizations. I'm sorry if I am. Um, is extreme, can be an extreme opinion. So you end up with these, like they just, it's like this, and it's so unproductive. And then you just end up divided and fighting against one another, which is just such a waste of energy. Um, but if people would stop this, and instead of talking at each other, work with each other so much more could be done and I don't know I don't know let me know what you think I'm sorry for rambling I really enjoy the music video I'm gonna show my husband once he's home later because he's a disturbed fan as well and I know somebody had commented on my last reaction and said I couldn't call myself a fan if I hadn't bought the newer albums 
I love Disturbed. Uh, I love their older work. I just never went out and bought the newer stuff. I don't really have a good reason why. Um, I had started listening to another band specifically like all day, every day, and stopped buying new music from other artists. <laughs> I'll let you know which band. Uh, let me know if you want me to react to any of Disturb's newer stuff. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.